One of the most anticipated mods for Farming Simulator 19 is out now, the TLX 2020 series for all platforms. What's going on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 11 mods for all platforms. We've got five new and five updates and for PC and Mac, we've got one update. Let's check them out. First up today, you know we're gonna start with A2 Square Studios TLX 2020 series. It is out now for all platforms, whether you're playing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC or Mac, you can now use this. Let's customize one as well as go over everything coming with it. So first up, we have rim color. These are going to be stainless steel. You have dark steel, aluminum. You also have chrome. Ayo. You also have a polished new silver, scarlet red, pearl white, gunmetal, blaze orange, nitro blue, which is it's kind of a DJ go ham color. And then you go into deep blue, deer green, deer yellow, metallic mana too. And then you go into all of your base game colors as well. So whatever you want there, you can go for. We're just going to keep stainless steel today. Main color. We've got a couple things here as well. So stock blue jeans, which is going to be like this. You will have that stripe down the side, but you can change that to whatever color you want as well. We also have blue jeans, new we also have blue jeans age so that's going to put a different um kind of a different patina maybe I'm, it's a, t a texture different texture on there ruby red you also have new age red red aged race red hey, let's go you also have a new age and an aged version of that as well white gold yeah, yeah. Bronze Fire Default, which is the default color. New Age Default. You also have JCB, JCB New, Pure White, Pearl White, Aged White, New Silver, Scarlet Red, Pearl White, Gunmetal, Dark Moon, Blaze Orange, Nitro Blue. That's my favorite. And then Deep Blue as well, plus all the in-game colors. Exact same thing right here. You can change this up, but we're going to change it to that because I like this look right here. Then presets. We have standard and preset one. Now it has been said that we're going to be getting a few more of these presets later on down the road. Possibly I'll send over one of my favorite presets for this truck over to David, possibly putting that in, but super, super cool right there. So you can do that if you want, but you can create your own. So real brand, we have stock, we have sport, we also have performance. That's going to be your sport wheel, but just super, super big. I love that. That's my favorite right there. As a matter of fact, we're going to keep it there. Wheel setups. We have performance here. We have performance wide, which is going to stick. It's not a dual in the back. It's a wide tire, but you can put duels back there if you want. And then back to performance again. We also have stock in here. We have standard duels and Nokian. And then in sport, we have street dual, which is performance. And then Nokians as well in there. So that's pretty sweet. Again, my favorite performance and then the wides in the back front grill we have a standard grill which is going to be black you have your main color you have your design color now my main and design are the same but it'll change up there you can also do chrome so black main color secondary color or chrome whatever you like there we're going to go with chrome because that is hot then extras we have standard we have the steel side steps black side steps steel bumper grill or bumper we have a black bumper and then steel both black both and then away we're gonna go with black on both of those lighting we have standard we have the led bar we have a strobe bar and then we have bull bar we have three different sets of lights here and then you could do any combination of all of those as a matter of fact and we're gonna go with all of course kits we have standard we have front bumper design we have front or standard is going to be your main color front bumper is going to be your design color as a matter of fact let's change that design color up Let's just do stock. How's about that? So front bumper doo -doo -doo, and kit. We have standard design color, black, steel, and then we start to change things up a little bit. So we have an off-road bumper, which will come in black, main color, steel, and then fenders. We've got all kinds of stuff in here for you. So that's pretty sweet. Then engine setup. So we have 3.3 liter turbocharged V6. And then we have a 4.2 liter. That's going to be your turbo diesel. Very nice. And then mirrors. You have standard and you have tow mirrors. Cool there. We <laughs> guys, look at that. I believe, let's see. Let's, let's go in. Let's see. Where is my setup? I believe that's my setup. Something like that. <laughs> I love it. As a matter of fact big engine of course let's go ahead and lease one of those now not only do we have that we also have different units now one of the easiest way to find these is just going to be to go to brands and go to a2s or 82s 
Now, I mentioned that we've got a couple different modules. We have four modules and three trailers. Your main module right here, this is going to be your TLX 2020 flatbed. With this one, we've got main color, which we are going to change over to nitro blue aka dj goham colors and that's going to change up your main color around we also have all the colors that you could ever want and need all the way through well pretty much everything right <laughs> if you're right pearl white do we have chrome through here i don't believe there is a chrome but you don't really need the chrome anyway your main color is going to be more of a chrome color as well boom but let's change it to that floor style we have the diamond plate we have rubber and back and forth between there and then lighting we have standard You've got work lights, strobe bar, or strobe bar and work lights. Guess what? Well, I'm gonna change this over to all of those. Let's get us one of those. Then we've got another one. We have a tipper bed for the back. That's right. You can turn this into a sim or not a semi truck, but a pickup truck, dump truck kind of thing. Pretty sweet here. Main color. We got all kinds of stuff. Let's change that up to our favorite color right there, to blue. And then design color. We're gonna change this to red. You might be saying to yourself, DJ, I don't see anything red. I don't see anything pink. Well, let's figure that out. Basic, extensions, and back and forth. Extensions, wood panel, painted panels. Your design color is your painted color right here. So you go through, do anything that you like through there. You know what? I like the wood panels, and I'm not sure I like my main color being there. So, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go with standard. And the extension. The extension is going to add another 2,000, so you got between 6,000 and 8,000 liter capacity. And that is also available in a trailer form as well with a hitch in the back to hook a couple of these up together. Main color, again, we've got our standard stuff through here. We're gonna do a nitro blue design color. We're gonna go with red on that one. Capacity basic, 6,000 liters or 8,000 liters right through there. And then go back and forth. You got different wheels here, stock and sport. You don't get those massive, massive wheels. So just keep that in mind. Ba-boom. And then wheel setup. We've got street. We have duels. We have knock-ins. And then back to standard again. So you can put those duels on there if you would like. And if we go over to sport, you can do the same thing there. Super cool. And then wood panels or paint it. Whatever you like. It's going to work great for you. We also have got the liquid. Liquid? Lick it? Boom. That thing right there. There you go. <laughs> Main color right through here. Let's change that up. So we start with stock. We've got black metal. We've got all basically every color you can think of. That's going to be your tank color, by the way. Design color. Change that to red. That's going to be everything around. We'll change it to pink so you can actually see exactly what's going on here. It's going to be everything around. As a matter of fact, I like stock. So we're just going to keep that with stock. I think it looks great. Configuration. We have multi-product tank. Slurry. We're back and forth. So we have multi-product, which is going to, uh, let's see, do pretty much every single liquid that you can think of in-game. And then we have also your slurry, which will do slurry and digestate. Um, does it say what the spread is on that? It doesn't say what the spread is on that, and that's okay. And then lighting, we have standard. We have work lights in the very back. You have a left beacon, right beacon, both beacons. You've got different options for all of those as well. Tell you what, let's go with that. Let's keep it on a multi-product. Moving on, literally the same thing in trailer form with the same wheel options as we had before. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. And then we have the log it, <laughs> log IT, whatever you want to call it. Here, similar stuff. You've probably seen all this before. Main color and design color. We're gonna change that up to pink. So that's gonna be your main frame color and also your pink at the very back. And then you can add work lights to this as well if you would like. Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got one of these as well. Same thing, just in a uh, trailer form. This pack has literally everything. Now that we're in game, let's really take a look here and see exactly what we've got going on. So let's. Yep, starting off right already. <laughs> Sorry, David. Let's put this down. Let's get in it. How's about that? So we've got a couple different things here. We've got, of course, do your camera you've got your interior looks absolutely phenomenal in here beautiful we look around we've even got tlx and chrome on the very back the inside looking very very good let's jump out of the outside though and let's see we've got lift front loader arm what that's going to do is that's going to move your strobe bar back and forth so you can move it forwards and backwards yes you can do this it's awesome i'm i'll do whatever you want through there then we've got another thing here what that's gonna do can you see the let's turn that off can you see the light bar in the front 
it's angling it up and down. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it angles the LED bar up and down depending on if you want it more towards in front of you or more like out, whatever you like through there. So cool. Let's turn it on and let's get a sense of what this bad boy sounds like. Now that we've got that, let's take a look at all of our modules that we've got here. So we're gonna start with the flatbed, hook up to that, boom. What does this give us? Well, <laughs> now we've got double light bars. Not only that, but we've got working lights in the back now as well. If we take a look at the uh, those, you've also got straps here and a hitch. This will work with pretty much every single gooseneck in the game, especially the ones that he's made as well as uh, semi-trailers as well. So anything that you can think of there it will work with it keep in mind it's a small truck it's got a lot of power but it's a small truck be careful of what you're pulling around let's do let's go in here and let's see what can we move here we can move our work lights so you don't have to have them just facing behind you you can move them in front of you do like that we do again now we've got our led bar we can really do some cool stuff with this i love this having the option to do that absolutely phenomenal Otherwise, there's nothing really else to that one. Let's turn our lights off. Let's turn off that and let's detach and we'll come over here and we'll hook up to our tipper. Now, this is the one with the extension. Keep that in mind. We'll hook up, boom. This is where you would want your strobe bar to be more towards the front because if it's back here, you can't see that it's actually on. So. You move it towards the front. Now everybody can see that you are doing something important. Otherwise, this tipper, pretty standard stuff right here. There's really not a whole lot to it. Think of it like a tipper trailer. It dumps, it does its thing. It's a rock star. That's exactly what it is. Check it out. Oh yeah, got the tip, got the tip. It's all the way up, baby. Yeah. Now one thing you can detach, just like you could from a normal trailer. However, this is just gonna continue to bring itself down on its own. So just keep that in mind. It also looks a little funny because it's not meant to do that. <laughs> Next. Well, that is a uh, bulk, by the way. Next up, we have our liquid right here, the liquid. This, again, we've got an unfold. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take your warning signs. You can see we've got our warning sign right here. That's gonna take that sign, just drop it. Exact same thing over here as well. Boop. And then we can make the one on the back completely disappear depending on what you're uh, what you're running with this. So that's pretty cool. We also have open cover. So the covers on the top will open up. Beautiful animation there. That's awesome. And I believe that is going to be our only one. So that's cool. Oh, check that out. With the turn signals, the top moves as well. That's cool, man. All right. All right. You win, David. You win. And then when you turn your beacons on, the beacons will flash on the very back. Plus, you can see we've got movable lights again on here being able to shine wherever you want not only that what can we pick up with this let's pull up our handy dandy f11 right here we've got diesel herbicide digestate def which you really don't need to use for anything at least that i've been able to find liquid manure water fuel milk lumigen which i've got a, a mod installed for liquid fertilizer and then back over so really whatever you want to move just think this as think of this as a, a thing for that. <laughs> it's awesome. Yes. <laughs> let's let's get rid of that. And then lastly here, let's go and turn all of our lights off. Oh yeah. By the way, you've got LED running lights if you want them. Yep. You sure do. Oh, you can turn them off though. It's so so cool. Boom, boom, ba boom. Now, here we have tension belts. Yes, we do. We've also got <laughs> We can unfold the trailer. Check that out. So what it does is it takes this piece from the very top, which protects the top of your truck, and it takes your logging sides, brings those in. You can also still use your straps. So if you want to put a couple bales on here, maybe you want to put uh, 
couple of pallets, something like that. You can easily do that without having any issues whatsoever. As far as any other toggle here, I believe we also get movable lights here. Yep, that is a 10-4 good buddy. We've still got movable lights here as well. So if you're doing some logging in the dark, doing some work, you're good, man. You're good and, and it is good. What do you guys think about this mod right here? This, I, I don't know if it's the most game-changing mod we've ever gotten in Farming Simulator 19, but it's on the list for sure. Next new mod for all platforms is the Gravity Wagon. Now you may be saying to yourself, DJ, didn't we already have this? Yeah, we did, it's right here. This will not replace that mod, so do keep that in mind. You are going to need to delete your old one if you still have it and use this one. Now, this does have a changelog with it, even though it's a new mod. The changelog 1.1 fix the loading issue with harvesters and augers. You also fix the hitch so they can adjust to any tractor size. Added slow moving vehicle sign. There you go. And then change the capacity to 14,000 liters. The original capacity was 10,750. This is 14,000. Now, something else to keep in mind here. This will hold tons more. Not only will it hold your standard crops, this is a bulk trailer. So this is a gravity bulk trailer that you can use with just about anything. That is absolutely incredible. Here we've got main color, anything that you would like. Let's do a new Holland today. There you go, and then rim color white. Boom, we've got our new Holland. Wheel brands, we have Lizard, Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have standard and wide tires. We also have Michelin tires. Next new mod for all platforms, we have the cellular antenna. Place this down on your farm and receive subsidies from mobile operators. Yeah! Price is going to be $1,000 in, so very cheap. Income per hour is going to be $20 in easy, $15 in normal, and $10 in hard mode. Maintenance is $4 per day, but you're going to make that back regardless of what you're doing. This is cool. I like this because it gives you some money, but it's not a lot of money. Usually with stuff like this, you'll get like, you know, yeah, you get $10,000 every hour if you're in easy mode, and you'll also get $5,000 if you're in hard mode. And it's just not... It's, it, though the price for those things is extremely high, you make your money back incredibly quick. I love this. I think it's awesome. Um, I actually may be adding this to one or two of my Let's Plays just to get that extra little bit amount of money, but it's not too much. I like this. Tell you what, DD... Of course it's by DD Mod Passion. <laughs> They always make some of the best mods. Yeah, yeah. Next to last new mod for all platforms today, we have the Agricultural Brick Shed. This is a very common shed in the Iberian Peninsula with a door for vehicles and pedestrians prepared for the mod for season. So it is seasons ready. In times of heavy snow, the roof will completely cover with snow. Awesome. Price is $18,000. Daily maintenance, 15. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the AW701 Cutter Trailer. This is a very similar version to the John Deere right here. I don't know why they just didn't make this a normal cutter trailer and do everything. But hey, a couple different mods here. It's totally cool. Rim color here, we've got gray and fent because we have main color, fent old, and fent new as well as Massey Ferguson. The goal of this is to have a smaller header trailer for your Masseys and fence so that they match. Wheel setups, we also have standard and wide tires here. So if you're running the, uh, let's see, let's take a look in har harvesters. If you're running a Massey Activa 7347, maybe you're running a Fent. Fent has a version of this as well. It's a mod, but we do have a version of this right here, the uh, 6275L. If you're running either one of those, the headers for those will fit perfectly on this new header trailer. Ba boom, right there. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First up, we have the Fun Ramp. This is Changelog 1.001. It is now seasons ready. So, regardless if it is spring, summer, winter, or fall, you can now have fun. We've got an update to the John Deere 6R series. This is Changelog 1.1. Small mistakes have been fixed in the mod. Joystick animation has been added, and the rear fenders have been re edited. Looking very good here. Nice update to the John Deere 6R. And an update to the Hilaris Turbo A270V. This is changelog 1.1. They've updated the sounds, dirt and wear adjustment, skin mesh update with a rubber wall, and reduced the brush color choice. So now that color choice is down to yellow, red, green, blue, orange, and of course pink. Your next to last mod update for all platforms today is the Mechanical Hero. This is Changelog 1.1, new model and configurations. In design, we have standard with and without. We also have now added 
assigned to it. Very cool. As far as color options go for this, we do have a couple here. If we take a look in design color, we've got, yep, all of those. That's a whole lot. And then also main color, you've got all those as well. Goodness gracious. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be Weeder. Changelog 1.001. Added color configurations, and in those color configurations, you've got all of these older colors right here. You can see everything that you got. Sweet! And making our way into mods for PC and Mac players today, we only got one of them, and it is an update to the Starliner 4045H Cutter Trailer. This is Changelog 1.1. Configurations for wheels have been added. Standard and wide tires. Funny enough, console got this update last week. So PC, now have the update as well. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!